Okay, we're going to talk about different uh, coach closures and some of my favorites. There are a couple of closures that I don't have, but I will list them. But uh, if I forget anything, just let me know in the comments below. There's lots of different closures, but I'm focusing on coach and some of my favorites. So uh, one of the first things we're going to start with is the turn lock closure. And this is absolutely my favorite. Here's a Coach Cassie in Oxblood. And you'll see that there's the signature C on this particular closure. Here's another Coach Cassie. And this one has the oval closure. And that's because it has signature. So typically, Coach has this type of closure, the oval, with the signatures. And then if there's no signature, they'll go with the logo. So this one I like, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to open and close when it's not full. This one happens to be stuffed right now, so there isn't a problem, and it's nice and easy to close and open. This one is my favorite, and that is because it actually sticks out a little more. I don't know if you can see that than this one. So it makes it a lot easier to open. I've never had a problem opening this. So these typically, these closures are on the flaps. Um, there are some other exceptions. I know the willow bag, I've got one, I just didn't pull it, but it has a closure and it's not a flap bag. Okay, so those are the two turn locks. There's a third I wanna show you, and this is on a little swinger. And it has the little closure here, very easy to open, but it also has the zipper, very easy to open and close. So it's got a combination of zipper and this turn lock. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about zippers. There's several different varieties. I've got a bunch of bags that have zippers on them. I pulled two, uh, the Ruby, which is this one here. Um, I did add extenders, so if you're wondering if that comes with the bag, it doesn't. I added this bag charm. That doesn't come with it, but the clochette and this beautiful 1941 hang tag does come with it. Now, this bag has been getting the most publicity due to what uh, people are considering as difficult to open and close these zippers. So I will show you on mine. We'll just take one of these. It's a very large leather pole, which is nice. Don't have any problems with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it down there. And then it's stuffed currently. Uh, pulling it back up is a little more difficult and closing it, but it's not bad. In fact, um, I bought this through Weiwei, one of our essays, and I had her check the closure to make sure that it works. So sometimes it's actually a good thing to go through a coach essay so they can check it for you. Um, she was so kind to do so. So I haven't had any problems with this Ruby with the closure on that, and that's a zip. The other thing to notice, it does come down a little bit further. Some of the zippers only come across the top. This comes down so the bag can open up a little bit bit better. So uh, that's my ruby in black. Let me just show you my rogue. This is my rogue in a brick red. I love this bag. So pretty. Uh, this one has a zipper that comes all the way down. So you know with the ruby I showed you came part way down. This one comes all the way down but that's the zipper part. I'll show you once I open this. Um, there's actually two zipper pulls and I tend to keep it on one side. So it opens, do you see that? Fairly wide, but there's a gusset on the side, so it doesn't come all the way down, but it does allow you to open it up pretty wide, which is really nice. And these zippers are really quite smooth, though I found on the Rogues, and I think other people have too, one side tends to be a little bit more finicky than the other. So you can even hear it. On this side, it's a little bit tougher. So usually what I'll do is I'll just, Leave the zipper down on one side, and then I have the smooth zipper coming across. So that's my other zipper on my Rogue. Okay, all right, I'll show you a couple okay. more bags. Next, let's talk about snap or magnetic closures. These are probably my most problematic. Um, this is a cute little uh, Field Tote 22 in the color Papaya, and I have her filled because I'm currently using her and as you can see, she's an open bag, but she has a magnetic closure on the inside. 
Um, it's a little bit difficult, especially when it's filled. Sometimes I can't close it. So for instance, right now, I would have a hard time closing it. So I'm gonna have to take out my sunglasses and you kind of have to find your way. And sometimes it doesn't, um, and sometimes it does snap. So with this bag, I actually just leave her open. Um, I don't bother to close her and that's a problem. But um, yeah, I'll just leave her open because I can't tend to uh, close her with that magnetic snap. So a couple other ones that I have problems with, with magnetic are going to be my top Riley handles. I've got uh, one in Signature and this little Rambler, I mean, sorry, this little Mango um, top handle Riley uh, has an issue because um, I can open her up, that's not a problem. Super cute bag, but I have a heck of a time trying to get this closed. Sometimes it closes and sometimes it doesn't. So that is a problem because this handle is attached to this. So you really do have to close it. You can't get away with it like I could with this, with the 22 back there. So we've got two of those and I did another video uh, that has to do with bags that are a pain in the butt, but I love them. And that's one of them. Now this one's a good example of <clears throat> a buckle closure. It's, it's a false buckle. It's not real true, but this one, I really like it. Um, it has a snap. So it's real definite when you push on it. And I wish that the little Riley's had it as well. So you just open it up and snap it and it's done. So I really like that. In fact, probably this type and, and this one here, the turn lock um, are my favorites. So, and I'll show you a couple more bags. And then this is a lock where you press it and it slips up. And there's another pocket inside of there, which is really nice. And then I like that. That's cute.